Kalimera Sas, Onomazume Pinakire. Um, the presentation is going to be in English, so I think you will need this. So we are going to be talking about SAP's endeavor in the new digital era. So the presentation is typically covering new possibilities, new thinking, and how we can cover a bank with new areas that they can end cover in the uh, digital banking space. The reality today is we have seen Mrs. Paparidio saying that we have consumers who want to do more and more transactions, want to uh, take more and more products and services in the digital area by using mobile banking, mobile payments, etc. So that is exactly what we are seeing. We are seeing more than a billion people in the area of using digital media. We are seeing more, more than a billion numbers of devices being used by people in the area of digital banking. We are seeing that we have got more and more data, not only data, but more and more information in the last five years compared to what we had prior to that period. So, so that this is the new reality, and banks need to make sure that they are in the area, they make sure that they have got systems, they have not only core systems, but also a clear strategy in the channel area, in the information area. There is a clear transformation required when we speak about the Greek banking area, all right? So we are basically looking at increased regulatory requirements. There is a clear pressure on margin but the key thing is consumers are the people who are defining the kind of products that you want to consume. Consumers are the people who will define what you as a bank need to provide to them. Okay? There is Im increased competition. There is competition from non-banking institutions. There is competition from other entities who are able to provide financial services and that's the reason why banks need to make sure that they take the right step now. And of course, there is a huge requirement to rebuild the trust with consumers. That is a clear thing that banking environment needs in the market. What is going to happen? Now, we are looking at banks who are basically essentially providing utility services. We have an account, we are doing transfers from person one to person two, these are the utility services that the bank is typically providing today. How can a bank differentiate itself? How can a bank change itself? There is a lot of information available, big data. Are we utilizing the data? Are we utilizing the information as a bank? Am I making sense of your transactions? Am I providing an extra service to you based on the information that I am sitting on? Is that possible? And obviously, Am I in a position to provide value? And am I in a position to provide that extra service that you would require, which is not available today, but based on your requirements, based on the transactions that you're doing, I can make sense, I can intelligently understand these are the kind of products that you require and let me provide that value. Today, the PayPal's, Google's, etc. they are in a position to do that. They are much faster in that area. If they have the right um, you know, let's say the, the regulatory element covered, they will be able to provide those services. So we as a banking community need to make sure that we redefine ourselves. And very clearly, SAP believes that doing small, small changes will only make sure that we get left behind. We need incremental changes is not going to take us anywhere. We need to put a platform which actually addresses not only consumers, but bankers as well. Bankers need to be a, a lot more agile. The digital world, when we, let's say when we step into our offices, when we step into, you know, let's say my, I start my banking day, I am typically using my computer or PC or laptop for the majority part of the day from nine o'clock to five. But after that, I basically use my mobile to find out information. I am on my car, I want to go from place A to place B. Mobile takes precedence. And when I go back home, I am on my iPad, for example, or my tablet. 
right? So we are seeing a change in how we consume any kind of information, but on a completely different device, right? So, so let's see what are the key questions. So the key questions are, how can my bank become more agile and cater to customers and consumers? Consumers not only from a B2C perspective, consumers also from a B2E perspective. Bankers themselves, people who are working inside the bank, bankers who are talking to their customers, okay? How can we create a robust cross-channel platform? We are talking about multi-channel, et cetera. How can I make sure that when you start a transaction, and if I am your banker, I know that that transaction has come in, I will be the first person to know. You do not need to call me. All right, so how can we put that robust cross-channel transaction experience in place? And very importantly, how can we use social media and all that big data and information available? How can I make sense with that information which is available? So SAP has got a very comprehensive product portfolio at the moment. We have got around 100 customers in more than 27 countries. We have acquired, obviously, certain companies such as Sybase, from where we have got the mobile banking, mobile payments modules. We have got e-banking as well. We have got bankers applications. We have got the ability to manage social media and all of this with the element of security. So if you are a consumer, we will provide you that application, which is going to be secure on your device, and we are going to make sure that that transaction is also secure right down to touching the core banking system. So it's not only security on the device, on, on this piece of equipment, but it, we are talking about security through and through. Bankers application. Bankers need to redefine themselves as well. If I am a banker, if I am your relationship manager, if I am, let's say, talking to your treasury department as a banker, I cannot be you know, taking my laptop with me all the time and coming to you. I need information real time available with me. And we have got bankers application for relationship managers, for treasury, and at the same time productivity applications. And all of this is going to be secured. Now this device is an SAP device. If I lose this, there's a lot of information on this. We need to make sure security is managed. SAP needs to make sure that I have all my relevant applications, apps, data, information on the device. So we have got a clear strategy around that. And obviously, we are also making sure that social media, how do we understand what is being told? For example, if I want to, uh, my term deposit is going to mature in the next two days, and if I want to understand what do I do with, the, with all that money, the bank can tell me 57 of your friends have rolled it over, so do you want to do that? The bank can be more forthcoming. Understand what is going on in the social media, understand how can I provide that extra service to my consumers, okay? So we have got mobile banking, mobile payments. In a country like Austria, 8.2 million people, 4.5 million people use the mobile payment service. And as we rightly heard, there is, a, there is an emphasis, emphasis going to be put on mobile payments. So that is going to be underway. You can buy any service in Austria using your digital, using your phone. It's NFC enabled. Similarly, we've done it in other countries, Malaysia, we've done it in, in Qatar and so on. Mobile payments, mobile banking. E-banking for small and medium scale enterprises, for corporate banking with the ability to manage current day operations, with the ability to do transactions, approvals, mandates, etc. Those are all there in the SAP multi-channel platform. And with the ability to make sure that your transactions are consistent cross-channel. So it, these are not you know, incremental changes. These are, this is a complete platform which provides you that ability. And of course, when we are talking about the digital, especially around the mobile platform, we are in a position to cover, give a consistent application across all those operating systems, devices that, are, that you see there above. Blackberry, iOS, Android, Bada, Symbian, WebOS, and so on and so forth. Let's not also forget, bankers will also tend to use applications. So we also provide those applications with a new refreshed user experience which is delivered by SAP Fiori, for example. Why should I burden my bankers with complex applications? They are using a very complex banking system. I can make it simpler by providing them the application on a device 
or on a computer with a very refreshed user experience. Bankers use the Twitter application, bankers use LinkedIn, bankers use Facebook. Why should they not use their banking applications with that refreshed user experience? So we understand that and we are in a position to deliver that to our customers. So we are talking about a complete platform which not only takes care of B2C but as well as B2E within the enterprise, within the bank. And we can take care of other partners. We are talking about m mobile payments. Mobile payments is something which requires merchant agent services. There are, there are going to be shops, et cetera, et cetera. If I go and want to you know, consume, buy a product, I should be able to pay using my cell phone, right? Oops. So which means that the application, the merchant should be in a position to identify this. So we are taking care of those actors in the transaction as well. In terms of social media, social media is, is something which we, most of us are using on a daily basis. We consume that. Most of, we have, a, we have our lives, you know, the kind of life that we are at the moment living, and we have a digital life. And we, you know, we are, I am on, on holiday, and I keep, you know, twit twittering or, or providing some information on, on Facebook. How does the bank make sense of it? If let's say I, if I am banking with one of your banks, and if I want to go and holiday in some place, is the bank in a position to offer me an insurance, a travel insurance? That's a product which they could just provide to me based on something that I'm posting on social media. So we are in a position to make sure that we analyze that information, we analyze that intelligence, and then provide you that extra service, right? So that's, that's something that SAP has invested in, in on the multi-channel platform. So what are the answers? The answers are SAP provides an end-to-end -end banking experience right from the consumers of those banking services and products to the bankers who are actually defining those products. So it's a complete end-to-end -end solution coverage. Secondly, we are not looking at replacing applications, we are looking at innovating how those applications behave for the bank as well as for its consumers. And all of this is based on open technology. So SAP is not defining something which is classically a BAP. We are using employing open technology so that our partners, our ecosystem members can clearly be on that platform, participate on that platform and make it a success for the bank. All right, so these are so what you, have, what you see here on the left-hand side, we've got the multi-channel platform covering, as a summary, covering your call center applications. You release some product people will want to call. Those need to help you. Internet banking, corporate, SME banking, consumer banking, mobile banking, mobile payments, right? And clearly, from an orchestration perspective, to keep the, the transaction consistent, we have the orchestration layer, which basically has the intelligence rules, understands your, the, the kind of information that you're sending, and give it back to those channels. And obviously, right at the end, we have got these SAP core banking systems. A clear example is nationwide in the UK. It's not a bank, it's a building society. If, if all of us are account holders, we are basically shareholders of the bank as an account holder. And the account holder typically defines what nationwide should come out with, uh, with, uh, in the market as products. And they are leaders in three market segments around current accounts, current accounts in FCY, and current accounts with credit interest rate. So that, that, those are the things that we as SAP can offer. But when we talk about a strategy, we have a clear strategy around multi-channel. We have a clear strategy around the information vis-a-vis -vis in terms of making intelligence based on our in-memory computing, in-memory reporting capability, and of course the core banking systems. FRS2, yeah, thank you very much for your time.